ready to dance? Dance. Yeah, at your dance class. Dance. <laughs> you gonna watch Jordan with mommy? Go, 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 well, sis, don't do it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Which, did you have fun? Fun. Yeah. Let me see your sticker. What did you get today? Wow, you got a princess so sticker. So back home, and so today oop, was the wrong day for me to show y'all a little bit of her dance because some days are like that where she just doesn't really participate much. Um, and then other days she's just really happy and she participates, but I guess that's the life of a normal two-year-old. <laughs> but she still did good. Oh, and now you want to play with some Play-Doh? Okay. What do you say? Please. You're welcome. No problem. Here, sweetie. There you go. It's cool because Jerry actually loves to go. He loves watching his sister uh, dance. What's up, Great Vines? Uh, you just got back from the dance class, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, and I was took a little, they're taking their nap. Yeah, I, I was here working, you know, working on all kind of special effects. And, you know, I watch tutorials on YouTube to try to educate myself into my craft, right? Yeah, if y'all haven't seen the latest um, superhero video, check it out. <laughs> It's yeah. so cute. I'm, it's having, so I'm having fun with it. Yeah. You know? I know it's not for everybody, but it's for me. It's for us. <laughs> so, yeah, I like challenging myself. So, hopefully, you're out there challenging yourself, whatever your craft is. If you're a singer, if you like, you know, playing basketball, if you, what else? Do people good at makeup. You know? Oh, yeah, makeup. I Always. wish. I need, that's what I need to do. I, I need know you can watch YouTube videos. videos. I know. I just. I don't know. I'm always just, I don't know. That's not on the top of my priority list is yeah. to like put makeup on. I no, guess. but just but being. I'm trying. I'm going to try. Just being a mother, you're yeah. always improving. You're always trying to read and study and, yeah. you know, the right type of foods to put in your body, to put on the outside of your body. So that's just my message. Just, you know, try to educate yourself constantly because I do it all the time. Yeah, it's crazy how much we've learned. Just in this short amount of time, and we're we still have so much more to learn. Yeah, D D learns it. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, D learns it, and then she but. tells it to me. And see, my video stuff, I just learn. I keep it to myself, and I just do it. Yeah. You know, it's a little different. And I'm actually lucky because I talk to. I always text Alba from Sunkiss Alba. If y'all don't know Shout her, out to Alba and her check husband. her out. Yeah, and her husband and little Manny, like. Um, she is so amazing. Like I, I yeah. really like her. She's such a such a great person. Not yeah. just on YouTube, but like, she's she's a really good person. For sure. For and sure. yeah, so I get lots of thing ideas from her that I copy her and I tell her I'm like, girl, I'm copying you, and she doesn't even mind. She's like, girl, <laughs> like I'm here to help. So she's really really sweet. And um, what else? Oh, and we get, we are going to a date night. Finally. Yeah, we finally get a date night. Finally, you know, since we finally, got back. Finally. Yeah. We had a little date night in New Orleans, so it's, it hasn't been that long, really. Really? It seems like but it. I think <laughs> most couples or parents, they take a date night. I don't think they take date nights as no. much as we do. No. I was about to say, we don't take it that often, but thinking about other people and like having nine to fives. And, mm -hmm. and, but um, when they go to nine to five, they don't have their kids. Yeah, yeah, but I'm so saying like they don't have date nights. Too, so it's, our, it's just different. I oh no, but I think a lot of people parents suffer from lack no, of date nights. No, but but I think a lot of people live close to their families 
And if you oh, have like yeah. extended family or grandparents or your mom and dad still yeah. around, but like that's our fault. some people drop them off. That's our fault. We Who's fault? Us. We moved away, so yeah, we did. <laughs> but, uh, we gotta hold that L. Yeah, hold we gotta hold that. that we gotta hold that Levine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited for our date night this evening. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna um, go chill. Babe, make a poll on this. Tell us what do you guys? You like? make the poll, baby. You just say it. And I'm gonna put it, baby. Okay, tell us what you guys like. Like, I know um, some of you have probably, like, realized that. Spit it out, baby. Just keep saying like and um. um it's the California side, y'all. <laughs> but oh, a lot nice. of y'all have said that you guys like the talking videos. Like, how we just ta are talking oh, to you guys. Do? Yeah, they will like, um, I got a tweet. They tweet me and stuff. And they'll tell me how they like this. What's a tweet, that baby? A, a tweet? Like, on Twitter? What's that? Shut up. We always like to just change things up and just change. Like, I don't know. Right? No? No. Everything's the same. You oh hear me? Oh god. Stop playing. We're consistently Stop. great. You're so annoying. Can you please be serious for once? Oh, be serious. Why are you with me? You're constantly complaining. I know. Don't complain don't and just be happy. Lord. And just enjoy all this greatness that's in front of you. You hear me? Mm. You're so annoying. Happy early Father's Day to all the fathers out there. You oh, know. yes. Happy Father's Day. All the fathers Jerry that's involved. Jerry won't let me do anything for him. I don't even know. I'm Gucci. <laughs> I don't need nothing. I told her I just want to work. I just want to work. Like every day like I always do. I work and I work. That's what I enjoy doing. And I love my quiet. And chilling with my kids. And chilling with my lady. And just, you know. Doing everyday stuff. Y'all know I'm not a holiday person, but if you say if you celebrate it and you in your kids' lives, all y'all mothers out there, single mothers, the father's not around, happy Father's Day to you too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all a uh, it's just a title. Happy parent day to everybody that's a parent to their kids. So I think that's the hardest job in the world. So we definitely gotta recognize all the fathers um out there. Cause it's extra hard sometimes for men. Especially if you're not in a relationship with the mother uh, to stay involved. And then I think it's also hard to stay in a relationship with the mother. Mm -hmm. you know? And vice versa. No, no, not vice versa. Sometimes I just want to know. Not vice, not vice versa. <laughs> and then until he just it's stops easy. and then his eyes close and then he turns really cold and then I'm like. You visualize this? <laughs> what the blah, hell? Blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, shout out to you know how far is that there? Yeah, happy, happy Father's Day to you. Day. You know, stay involved, keep doing your thing. But no, I don't want nothing. I don't celebrate. Honestly, a lot of, like you get everything. You've been buying the stuff out. Like I was thinking, I was like, maybe I'll just make a goodie bag. Like you can never have enough socks and underwear and like. Bought my own socks, yeah. And he bought his socks. So. Self, all about self. Oh yeah, check out my new shirt, y'all. Just came out today. Came in today. Kicking it old school. I remember this. This from the early '90s when they put all the Looney Tunes and like hip hop clothes, and this the crisscross clothes actually. Cause you see the jeans pockets, yeah. they on backwards, and they got earrings and they got dreads. Look at Bugs with his dreads and his earrings. So shout out to Looney Tunes. All right, y'all, and tomorrow is going down the finals. The boys going with it, y'all. I don't care what y'all say. If you support what we say, then yeah, you're right. If you don't support what we say, you're wrong. <laughs> Pretty much. But, no, uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm more of like, I'm not even a Warriors fan. I'm just a Steph Curry fan, and I don't like LeBron. So if anybody, whoever, I'm just, well, it's not that I don't like LeBron. I'm just not a fan of him. So, yeah, I, yeah, I don't like him. Yeah, but. ditto. We have that in common. Because I'm a Kobe fan. and so Kobe going over baby. Kobe, I know. So I have to find another player I like and Steph I don't know yet it's a little too early for I know Steph, but, but I know I do like him but this baby, season. but y'all Laker fans gotta let it go okay calm down okay I will never let it go do people let Michael Jordan go no I I'm do. not gonna let Kobe go yeah we ain't gonna turn into, into sports center I know but right we've been talking about it a lot but we just get excited that's like probably what one of the I things think, we're excited about I think it's the, I keep cutting you off how do you feel it's the theme okay, of so I'm cool then, with it um, cause oh, my voice projects a little bit better because oh, the theme like, of oh, Father's Day is like, oh you put your hand on my nose uh, oh uh, you nasty so what I was talking about yeah excuse me oh you were talking oh okay it doesn't bother me cause I'm a man you know that you know that and I could just move the camera like this and put it on myself 
Why why you can't let me shine for a second on the video? Why? Why I can't just have my moment? You shining right now. All this, all that, all this, all that. But you know, talking sports is in the theme of Father's Day, I guess. It's been super interesting how all the uh the people come out the world work defending the NBA, the Stephen oh, A. Yeah. Smiths and Everybody's like, no, it's ridiculous. That could never be. Even though they Stephen have former refs. Are you sure got into it? I know. He's, you heard that? You he's that disrespectful. He's always talking about disrespect. He talking about the man wife and talking about yeah. Savannah. LeBron's wife is better. She's classier. She don't yes. speak. Yeah. She don't have social media. That's not his place. That's not your place, man. That stuff, woman, let him check his lady. You don't tell him how to check his lady. Yeah. It's like I, somebody trying to tell me to check you. I, like, that was crazy. It's crazy because, you know what, y'all? Like, social media, that's why you can't read and take a lot of things to heart on social media because you, like, you read enough of it, you'll start to believe it. Like, mm -hmm. people are dragging Aisha Curry on Twitter. Look, They're dragging her on Twitter. I bet. Like, that's what social media is for. But I don't even feel like Stephen A. Smith, like, that's not his place. And so many people agree. So it makes know, me feel like, wrong. dang, like, am I like, are we the crazy ones? Like, no, I'm not. That's why I, like, I don't... people are like, no, but listen, baby, but listen, like but baby, that. listen. See, that's, that's the beauty of me not knowing social media activity. I can have my opinion. I have my belief, and it's not swayed because everybody else is saying something. I believe just based on what I heard him say. He was talking about the man's wife and talking about how, you know, some other wife was, was more respectful and she was more classy. And that's just, I felt like it was wrong. I don't care what the girl said or how she said it. As a man, you gotta, you gotta chill. Because she went back on Twitter. She was like, um, you're the one that's out of pocket. Why are you putting two women against each other? And everyone was like, because it is right, true, indirectly, it is true. But then I see where he's saying, but it shouldn't come from him. It should come from stuff. Like, she shouldn't be tweeting anymore. Like, as far as, like, she was like, now she's fighting with Stephen A. Smith, you know? Listen. I don't know. If it's you're, just like if you're in a relationship, keep your partner in check, please. There's checks and balances in a relationship, you know? I always check D. Get her in but place. See, now you out of pocket. Why are you no, telling people how to do their relationship? People Because it's all about checks and balances. It's, it's all about being a, a good team. You're going to have one teammate that's wilding out, and the other teammate's job is to pull them back in. You got to take turns as being the team captain. Certain topics, certain things that we go through, I got to be like, babe, you got to chill. You know? But, you, you're like, gonna, you're but gonna... like Skip Baylor said, certain people. In, in in Curry's defense, LeBron, that's how it's done in his household. Steph Curry may not mind his mom blowing kisses to fans. Steph Curry might not mind his, his wife in the spotlight, too, because she it. does do her own thing. She's not I just a housewife. That's true. So you can't tell the great minds who are in relationships to have checks and balances. It's, it, everything's different. No, no. I, I know that's a totally different subject, though. Him allowing something and then... When he actually has to be checks and balances for her, like mm -hmm. he has to be like, oh, okay, you can't go out and like get on a stripper pole or there's checks and balances. Where yeah. I'm saying it's relative to what you think needs to be checked. I'm not saying like, oh, you need to tell her to micromanage everything she does and says. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying certain things. Your partner, whoever you with, is supposed to tell you, all right, this is not good. This is bad. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I could see both sides, but. Stephen A. Smith, ultimately, I feel like he was out of pocket. He has but no he has right. a job to do, though. You know, well, yeah, he got to talk every single yeah, and day. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, it's, it's, it's like he's he doing his to, job. Like, yeah, he, has, he has to get ratings. He has to. He's definitely getting them. <laughs> so, yeah, I understand Loud mouth, the, I get it. You know? the business entertainment side. And then I also understand Aisha, like, how she felt away in the personal side. So. Look, it all stems from the truth. Okay? I don't care. If somebody said the whole NBA, I'm sure the whole, whole NBA is not rigged because they say if you make shots, you make shots. If you miss, you miss. Mm -hmm. But certain games, they can control it. You know, if you foul a guy out or if you send people to the free throw line to get easy points, that's going to affect the game. And that can determine the game, it's, especially late in the game. Mm -hmm. He got ejected late in the game. He was out the game. They're going to lose. Like, so I get it. The whole NBA is not fixed every single game. But they could pick and choose to throw a monkey wrench into the program and have it go or extra game to get them a few hundred million more dollars like right? yeah or a few billion i don't know how much money they make just from each game yeah. just with sales and tv ads and 
you know, all that stuff, man. We get it. We know it. So, yeah, looking forward to date night. We're going to have a good time. Uh, that's tonight. And hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all day today. And you enjoy spending time with whoever's important to you tomorrow on the holiday. Eat good. Laugh. You know, enjoy life. Don't be so serious, right? Yes. What else you got to tell the people? We love you guys. Love y'all. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to Lil Levine's and to the Real Superhero Kids TV yeah. channel. We appreciate y'all love and support. The link is in the description. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you. Peace. <laughs>